Well, the viaduct was a big, dirty, ugly structure, which lots of us loved because it was that. You know, it was not the Golden Gate Bridge. It was not constructed out of aesthetic purposes. And so it had this very kind of practical history to it. And yet it created a sort of darker space, a place where people could experience hidden things, but it had that kind of dark, slightly seedy quality to it, which befit the Seattle of old, which befit the mystery that as a young kid I loved about Pioneer Square. I've tried to make work in one way or another that deals with transformational moments, whether or not they're small and out of sight without much fanfare or something like this that is in full view of the whole city. The city's Office of Arts and Culture contacted me about uh, documenting photographically the entirety of the demolition of the viaduct. Not necessarily from the framework of a, a photographer who's been hired by the contractor, but is approaching it with a creativity, a vision, and a subjectivity that adds something to the cultural aspect of the city. Working with a large format camera is such an interesting experience. It slows the process down and in a sense it takes it away from photography as we know photography. Typically you're under the dark cloth, the image is upside down, so it's almost about geometric forms, the way that lines line up and how space organizes. There's always something, you know, a little hidden gem of a detail. And those are the things I love. And that's happened numerous times with the viaduct work that I made. The experience of being on the viaduct was really important to me because that experience is, is gone now. We have this memory of it, but we don't experience it on a day to day of like driving the viaduct. And visually what I loved was being on the southbound lanes when you're on the lower level of the viaduct and you're looking back at the city to the east, and you're watching these buildings and the steam plant and little apartments and the Pike Place Market, and, and you're seeing fragments, almost like a, a thin layer of the city that's framed top and bottom by the brutalist structure of the viaduct. You go down to the waterfront now, and look back at the city. And you just can't even imagine the viaduct having ever been there. What we choose to do with that waterfront, I think is really important because the identity of the city and the small businesses that have been able to find a, a window of opportunity in a place because of the viaduct, now that the viaduct's gone, are we going to essentially sweep them out with the rubble of the viaduct? and usher in the changes that we perhaps have seen in other parts of the city, the modernization, um, and that's not a bad thing, but at the cost of what? The waterfront into downtown, into the market, into Pioneer Square, that's the true identity of the city. It's the history of the city, and this is an opportunity to embrace that, to make it stronger. But I, I hope that the, the work that I've made will provide a reminder of what Seattle has been and how we've chosen to change it and that we understand that those changes are part of our history. Sort of a photographic visual reminder of our choices.